Hi, my name is Kweku. I am a pharmacist. In today's brief video, I'm going to be reviewing the medication Wegovy semaglutide. We're going to take a look at what it is and how it works. We will take a look at its efficacy. That is, we'll look at some study data to see if it actually lives up to the hype. We will take a look at how to take it. We'll also obviously take a look at some potential side effects. And stick to the end as I'll give you five key precautions that you should be aware of or to assess yourself to see if you are a good candidate to take Wegovy. And as always, this and all my other videos are for informational purposes only, so please do not start, stop, or change any of your medication regimens without first talking to your doctor. So what is Wegovy? Well, Wegovy is a prescription weight loss medication that is approved for adults who are obese or adults who may not necessarily be obese but may have medically related weight problems such as high blood pressure or high cholesterol. At the highest level, Wegovy works as an appetite suppressant. It mimics a certain hormone that the body naturally produces that is responsible for controlling your appetite and food intake. So the idea is that when your appetite is suppressed, obviously that will lead to a lower caloric intake and in the final analysis, that will lead to weight loss. Now let's talk about efficacy. Does Wegovy really work? Does it actually cause weight loss? The simple and straightforward answer is yes. There have been several studies that have pointed to the fact that people that took Wegovy compared to a placebo lost significant amount of weight I'm going to put a link in the description that highlights three of these studies, the SUSTAIN study, the STEP study, and the PIONEER study, which were published in the British Medical Journal. Now, in one of those studies, which lasted over a 68-week period, 1,961 adults who were obese were put on Wegovy and compared to a placebo. In the end, the people on Wegovy lost approximately 35 pounds, which represented about 15% of their average starting body weight which was 232 pounds. When they compared that to the placebo, on the other hand, the people on the placebo lost just about six pounds, representing about 2.5% of their starting body weight. So the conclusion that can be drawn was that there was a statistically significant difference in the amount of weight loss in the people on the Wegovy group versus the placebo. Now let's talk about how to use Wegovy. Now, Wegovy is an injectable medication that comes in five different doses and it comes in single-use pens. Now, I know when I say injection, some people are, don't like needles. The, the way this pen is designed is such that you don't actually even see the needle. The typical starting dose is 0.25 milligrams and your doctor will gradually increase you up to a maintenance dose of 2.4 milligrams. When you reach 2.4 milligrams, if you are able to tolerate it, then you, you will stay on the 2.4 milligrams for some time until your weight loss goals are achieved. But however, if you are not able to tolerate the high dose of 2.4 milligrams, your doctor may drop it down to the next available dose and see if that would help. If that does not help and you are still not able to tolerate it, most times your doctor will discontinue it because he will classify you as not being a good candidate to tolerate Wegovy for weight loss. Now let's talk about some side effects. And with respect to side effects, as is common with all medications in this class, the biggest factor is gastrointestinal events. In other words, if anybody is going to discontinue Wegovy, most times it is due to gastrointestinal e events. And typical are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, constipation, dyspepsia, feeling bloated or gas, and belching. Other non-gastrointestinal related side effects reported include headache, fatigue or feeling tired, and dizziness. Now let's talk about those precautions that I mentioned in the beginning. The first one is that if you have a history of kidney disease or if you have a history of pancreat pancreatic disease, it's a good idea to let your doctor know. Wegovy has been associated in some people in inflammation of the pancreas, a condition called pancreatitis, or for people who have existing kidney disease, Wegovy has been known to cause um, kidney failure in such people. So if you have a history of any of these conditions, do well to let your doctor know before you even start on Wegovy. Number two, if you have a history of diabetes and eye problems or what we call diabetic retinopathy, very good idea to alert your doctor because Wegovy has been associated in worsening cases of retinopathy in people who already had that condition to begin with. Also, if you have a history of uh, mental health issues, um, suicidal ideations, and just general depression, it's definitely a good idea to bring it up as you prepare to go on Wegovy. Wegovy has been known during the clinical trials to worsen depression in some people. So definitely a factor that you need to be discussing and getting the clear from your doctor. And you as an individual, even when you start using it, you need to start monitoring your mood and make sure that 
you are not slipping into deeper depression or whatever mental health issues you have are not worsening. Number four, if you are pregnant or plan on becoming pregnant, you may not be a good candidate for Wegovy. Wegovy may harm the unborn baby. So the recommendation is that Wegovy must be discontinued at least two months prior to you getting pregnant. Number five, if you or any close family member has a history of thyroid cancer, you may not be a good candidate for Wegovy. Medications in that class have been known to increase the risk of thyroid cancer, which they observed in rodents during clinical trials. And therefore, out of abundance of caution, people with a personal or family history are not encouraged or it's not recommended for them to be on their medication like Wegovy. Thank you very much for staying through. I hope you found some value in this video and I'll catch you on the next video. Stay blessed.